Head. Swift as my feet can carry me. past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Take control of the ship. 
We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the helm. Oh, God. I feel... better. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. from the prisoners, but they do not react. Soul appears dormant. Nothing. The console remains dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. Whatever fits in that socket must power this thing. Yankee warrior and centuries of darkness. Never wanted the easy. You are not now. We must go to the helm. You! Get me out of this, Captain! 
stragglers. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness, because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Shadowheart. One moment. It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. inside do as I say who put you in charge I'll trust my own judgment Kane Yank
waste a step. I will ascend.
As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. The chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. What's in here? Very well. Mm. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. I have to keep going. those wretched things. Vicious filth. Best keep some distance or this will be a short fight. such a distant prospect. Breathe deep and move. Something the matter.
bear, a mind flayer, and it's hurt. That thing. You approached the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. You can't move, can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Your mind's views, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Monster, death is too good for it. Harry, I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? Just a dumb bore. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger. Don't we? I saw you on the ship, free, scuttling about. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle. Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? I'm not an idiot. It has to be those tentacled monsters. Something they did. They took you too. I saw it during whatever just happened. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Aha. A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... 
It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. The boar grunts and eyes you warily with its beady eyes. The boar shuffles its trotters, unsure. Then it dashes away into the wilderness. Goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Damaze! Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. You've but one chance. Join me or die. No! You lying rat!
The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Moving ahead. Open up. shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. With haste. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gates, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates! <coughs> the blade. Oh, 
sickle and sword. Get you up. Victory awaits. My path be true. Can't stay idle. Breathe deep and move. The last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate!
chatter already. It's been a long day. I need to rest soon. here you fool we was running for our lives you led them straight to us and you let them take the druid too unbelievable tell that to the dead at the gate short it horns i'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer my duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. I'm more worried about this parasite than a few I'm goblins. Pat. We need to leave. We need a healer. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers, but I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. Just some bits and bobs. We don't even know these people! That doesn't matter! Of course Children. it does! You would choose strangers over us. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? You dare interrupt! Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Chucky, fine. Thanks. What do you want from me? On the road to Baldur's Gate, near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. Man, I just... I just... ran. The map. Show me.
Yes, your mediocre interrogation technique notwithstanding. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. daughter go right now she's a thief hell spawn and you will wait for Korga's judgment now get back oh let me through rag rusher or i'll rip your damn throat out <gasps> Waiting on Corker to give what I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. She was caught. Foolish child. Let them judge her. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You get back. It's forbidden to outsiders. Corga's orders. No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead.
I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Very well. Sif, sif. Tila, to me. <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will... Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. So you say. Yet the child walks free. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. I see you. Just give me a moment. This medical There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Crawled in? Some sort of bug? Or... Wait, did it look like a tadpole? 
but from your worst nightmare. All slime, teeth, and tentacles. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. There's something in that vessel. Take a... Best keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. I'll do the best I can. I'm no Master Halson, mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I will remain. I have a vested interest in the outcome. All right. Let's see what we can do. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Nothing? You sure? Protected from on high. Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. I'm trying to help you. But I need to be sure. So tell me, where'd you get that thing? To hell's with it. I... I'm sorry. But I can't let you go. If you transform out there, you'll kill everyone in the grove. Everyone for leagues around. You... You're right. I'm no use to the others dead. Master Halson did say the drow's tadpole was dormant. Maybe yours is too. condition. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Swear it. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out 
What the hell was going on? Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. You can't cure what you don't understand. And as much as I know about mind flayers, I can't make heads nor tails of this. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. And if my birds can't get close, what chance do I have? You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Why are you <sighs> Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Better a quick draft than seromorphosis, nonetheless. Better than becoming a mind flayer. Keep it, in case things start to go very wrong. That mural... They look like Dark Justicias. me like that again and I'll feed you to a null. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Yeah. I mean... Thank you for helping me. It's our job to get us out of this safe place, not yours. It's my job too. The druids don't care about us.
I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Do not be so sure. Korga won't spare you either, if it comes to it. I can only hope you see that before it's too late. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, they'll... Our time grows short. If Korga won't abandon her madness, then we'll have to try the road, goblins or no. I suppose so. We don't have much, but we'll scrape together whatever we can. Of course. Everything we have, anything we can give you, we will. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. The Watch or the Flaming Fist? Pardon? When we get to Baldur's Gate, where are we enlisting? I'm done, soldiering, Tilly. I'd like a clean start, but go with the watch. <coughs> You're too honest, a <coughs> <and> mercenary. <coughs> used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. We're tougher than we look. We've survived persecution, survived Avernus. Who knows? Some of us might even make it to Baldur's Gate. Oh, well, aren't you an optimist? I've seen what the goblins can do to a vulnerable caravan, so I'm not as confident. But if you are, why not put a little gold on the line? No? Shame. I thought you might enjoy a little fun. <laughs> Be safe out there, whatever comes your way.
You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arka. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill her too? <laughs> you, move! you damn you damn it why do you care if a goblin lives or dies Tch. your soft heart will be the death of us gods you're exhausting fine then it's all right Arka let's go oh you ain't sure why you're protecting me <laughs> don't care neither it's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. They'll peel your face off and nail it to a wall. I ain't scared of some god. Stick a dozen arrows in me and Priestess God still patch me up. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <gasps> Mighty Booyog. A goblin healer. We really are desperate, aren't we? It's the truth. I swear on your mother's grave. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the orgs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. Then hurry up and do it. My tribe ain't as friendly as I am. I'm g you gonna open this cage or what? Well, hurry up. I got all... Every last one of ya! Still breathing, despite everything. Should mind my step.
These teethlings prove fragile. I have a mind to end their misery myself. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. I failed to see the distinction. Why does this keep happening? I was joking about Octa's suit just a moment ago. Come on, Rick. Now what? We dig a hole and be done with him? We... We could say a prayer. We should have time for that. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. People up ahead. Where's the wound? Something's not wrong. like that. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please. Stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Useless. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will. She. She. You're. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. We know that all too well, ma'am, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. You! Brenna! Kill her!
Another day, another fight. <laughs> I know that look. It's just something I have to live with. Strange power resonates with a its host's memories go to waste. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Muscles loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. before me. Out there, Jack. This nest must be nearby. Things have stayed interesting. Light on my feet. Mm. It's a lunar statue in a stinking cave. There's magic at play here. A spell keeping this chest shut. Feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness.
catch my breath. <laughs> looks from you to his dead mother. A single strike will end his suffering. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. The cub has a fighting chance now. Dad, or we've just prolonged its misery. Always room for more? What's in here? Another step forward. supposed to be worth a fortune. Here we go. So, you know about these parasites. Will we survive? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Okay. Oh. The dog's hackles raise. You see a name etched into the leather. Scratch. He whines, but remains rooted by the corpse's side. Oh. <laughs> 
gift. Aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? My name is Lay Zelk Chucky, and my... They will help you, but only if I ask. Something's waiting up ahead. Anything of use? Another step forward. like you. Ain't no one getting their way today. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Hold up, lads. This one might be more we bargained for. Go on, then. Just keep your nose clean. You know what I really miss about Baldur's Gate? Food. Freshest fish I've ever had. I don't care for the Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. 
Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Dragon Rider, my kin are near. Damn thing could blot out the sun. It would be too much to hope that. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Stop wasting time, Beretta. 
You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. The dragons serve Gith Yankee. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A Gaek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Voss seeks. It's the artifact that she carries. Her mind focuses. The Gith's suspicions cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. Duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. To Danos! To the sky! Well, to intervene, vexed as I am to admit it, the Gestil Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignoble Gestil Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. Open up. is irresistible. Every word is drenched with a power and authority you do not understand. 
but cannot deny. Your vision melts, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf, exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to Stand beside them in my presence. You feel energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you. Pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. The voice is gone. Muted by this... This gith relic. Why does a half-elf carry it? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. I suppose, if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. No need to thank me. This is out of pure necessity. Pure desperation, in fact. Such a grim for such a beautiful flower. I heard you mumbling that line to yourself earlier. It needs more work. Fortunate for his tongue, he didn't say it to me. Ah, the faded ghost of fun. You got another reason to be here. Feck sight. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Um, down! 
claw. Bad girl. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Easy, lads. We got a true soul coming through. I don't know any house in your excellness. Oh, one of them thieves. If he ain't dead, he's in the pits with the rest of them. If this is the state of their camp, how bad must the pits be? Mortals all hinders to quake. Come, fill the front I doubt these goblins care much for their prisoners' wealth. I hope we find them in the end. His name is Draw his Statue of Selena. This room must have been dedicated to her. Now it's a nest for some filthy goblins. A fitting end. <laughs> a disgusting waste of Stonecraft. Better not be cursed. Just another crate. in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. We stick you foreign types in the spider pit. But the Absolute says we're all making nice now. So in you go, I suppose. Bloody racket. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. That way nobody'll mess with you. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slobs can't see it. Only us that follow the Absolute. 
You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. You've come to the right place. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi! Priestess! Oh, we like want us. the mark! Why do they yeah. think they're talking to a god? Ain't we good enough for the Absolute? Wits and blades always shock. This'll help. Well, hello. They'll feel this. before me. Oi, come here. I ain't waiting around. Pick to fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. Sported some rather interesting murals, I must say. They just reminded me of something half forgotten. It seemed to depict Lady Shah's warriors in combat. I hadn't known they were active in these parts. Don't worry, it's not information I share too casually. Besides, those murals looked old. The druids have more current troubles to worry about. They look like Dark Justicias, an elite force among Lady Shah's ranks. Only the very finest proved themselves worthy of the title. The mural is propaganda. Who's to say what truly happened? Though it is known that the Dark Justicias have been silent for years. Curious to see them depicted in such a place Perhaps there's more to it, but there's nothing to be done about it just now. One day I'll catch a break. It's been a long day. Better stop to rest soon.
You don't have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected. You feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. And with scepter abraid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash, the captives were many, goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filth, any. So 
raise it your goblets and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had let you collide. <laughs> Do as she says. Now. <clears throat> uh, now, where was I? Huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours. Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> Uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, I am uh, draw Ragslin. Um, um, come choose, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um. You broke him. Wait, wait. Uh, draw Ragslin. We pay. We uh, come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, oh, look what you've done. Come on! Of course. My name's Gribbo, idiot! Right, yes. Not fool me. Someone is one way to get a guard's blood pressure up. You're destined for the cells, if you're lucky. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Ah, oh, what's a bit of metal between allies, hmm? I'll do one better. Tell me where we can meet each other once we've slipped the goblin yoke. And I'll offer much more than gold. Knowledge, my friend, is priceless. Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain!
aggression has won you no friends. Any further violence could be met with the same. Inside, boy. 